Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of BA. Select start. Base. We are back again uh, with, I believe, the second quarantine edition of BA Select Start. Uh, that is correct. Once again, uh, these are the times of the coronavirus where everybody's encouraged to stay home and stay safe. <laughs> because I'm still considered an essential employee. Whenever I'm over at uh, whenever I'm over at work and I, I go to my lunch break, all the adjacent stores uh, are shut. They're just straight up closed. So the parking lot is barren, and it's it's a little eerie. But I mean, not to be unex- not unexpected. Yeah, you know, um, I think the scary part is uh, you know trying to find out how long it's gonna last like this. Um, yeah. But, I mean, in the meantime, again, all we can really do is just, you know, uh, wash our hands and stay clean and, uh, you know, just try, try to get through it day by day. Yeah. Um, with that, actually, uh, we got some news uh, just a few days ago in regards to Last of Us from Naughty Dog. Um, Speaking of being closed. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, uh, I don't really think that it... I I think it, there was a little bit of a shock, but uh, not too much because it, you know yeah. it, it was almost expected you know in times like this. But um, if if you want to read that article, Dan from Naughty Dog's uh, um, Instagram, absolutely. As you've likely just seen, the release of The Last of Us Part Two has been delayed. We're sure this news is just as disappointing to you as it is to us. We wanted to reach out to you all in our community to give you just a little more information. The good news is we're nearly done with development of The Last of Us Part 2. We are in the midst of fixing our final bugs. However, even with us finishing the game, we were faced with the reality that due to logistics beyond our control, we couldn't launch The Last of Us Part 2 to our satisfaction. We want to make sure everyone gets to play The Last of Us Part 2 around the same time, ensuring that we're doing everything possible to preserve the best experience for everyone. This meant delaying the game until such a time where we can solve these logistic issues. We were bummed about this decision, but ultimately understand it's what's best and fair to all of our players. We're hoping that this won't be a long delay, and we'll update you as soon as we have new information to share. We wish you all, your families, and your friends the best of health. Thank you for being amazing fans and your continued support. Stay safe, naughty dog. Um, thoughts, Dan? Well, I mean, again, you said not not unexpected, totally. And I mean, I, I no offense to video game developers, I don't think they classify as essential employees. So it was just a matter of time before the uh, studio would probably have been forced to close up uh, until this is resolved. Yeah. Um, um you know, you actually brought up a, a very good point. We, I think we were talking, uh, just yesterday, um, and I didn't even think about this, but you brought up a point and you said, you know, not that this is like the essential reason, but one of the contributing factors is that I don't think you would want to release a post pen, like a post apocalyptic game in times like this. You know, where you have the news talking about death counts and people being infected with the virus. Uh, and it's like you kind of take that and, you know, you, it kind of parallels The Last of Us, um, excluding the, the zombies and, you know, all that. Um, and I never really thought about that. You know, that's actually a very good point. You know, you wouldn't want to release something um, that, you know, parallels something that, you know is going on in real life right now. Um, You know, uh, to to, to go off track for a second, um, those of you who have tuned in from the beginning, you know, at first we're talking about the WWE games. Um, If you are a WWE fan, you would know that WrestleMania was just this past Sunday. Um, And Dan, where I'm going with this is, you know, the Undertaker and AJ match, um, they literally had to call it something that was not a buried alive match just to not receive any backlash from, you know, uh, 
you know, uh, what do you call it, sponsors or anybody who's, you know, uh, you know, yeah, backing they, they the had company. to make it a not death related match. Yeah, because if you have, you know, two guys who quote unquote are fake fighting, but then you kind of throw in the theme of someone's going to get buried alive in times like this, that's not going to sit well with a whole lot of people. So, yeah. uh, kind of going back to last though, is I think releasing a post pandemic game in times like this is kind of like that's kind of un, un unnerving. I think a lot of people would probably not pick up the controller, uh, knowing that in times like this, a video game like that is coming out. You know. Now the the thing I, to counter that, I don't know that people that that your average player or specifically your fan. Would, would would take that much offense to it. However, there likely would be people who would, so they're probably just trying to get ahead of that. Yeah. Because I even mentioned to you when we talked about um, the game last time, I, I said I don't think... Uh, I don't think that... Most people, the first thing that comes to mind is the comparison between these two events because they kind of rem- they they just think of this as the Last of Us. They don't think, oh, it's the Last of Us. It's very similar to to what's going on right now. Yeah. Um, but to kind of get into it, um, what do you think could be a reason or reasons as to why? I mean, other than you know the coronavirus. Uh, do you think there could be something else that triggered this delay? Well, I mean, I, th- I think it's a, a culmination of several factors. Um, the two biggest of which are probably that we, we know that they delayed the game uh, up to this point uh, from February to May. Yeah. And maybe progress wasn't going as smoothly as they were hoping or they hadn't made enough progress before being told this is the date that you guys have to have to shut down yeah because that's the other side of it is i anticipate that the biggest reason is the fact that like i said they're not what they're doing isn't essential to everybody else's lives therefore they're not uh, they're, they're being shut down so that they're not still around each other potentially infecting each other if somebody has it which would be a hell of a story to come out of naughty dog at this point i mean yeah obviously there's everything that's going on right now um and again it's like you said before no offense to everybody who's 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 been working on a video game but uh you know that's not really considered you know essential um you know i'm guessing for people who video games is their lives they might tell you differently but you know um Ironically, you know, we were talking about Crunch last time, mm-hmm. and for those of you who don't know, you can watch our uh, previous episode. You know, Crunch is essentially a term that apparently is uh, kind of a hush-hush thing that happens at, at Naughty Dog, you know, uh, where developers are, you know, they're staying overtime and they're spending, you know, hours, you know, after their, you know, original, you know, uh, departure time in a day uh, when creating the video game, uh, some people are working like hell, you know, they're working more than 40 hours a week. Um, and and some of, some of that as a result of, uh, essentially guilt. Yes. But, uh, it's also to, to be fair to them, it's not, it's apparently not exclusive to Naughty Dog. So I don't want, I don't want us to indicate, to suggest that maybe Naughty Dog's the only violator of this, but they're the most recent hot topic. So, you know, I think one of the things that, you know, kind of uh, really implements that headline as we were talking about last time is developers uh, just walking out in the middle of projects, Uh, developers who walked out in the middle of Uncharted 4, um, you know. And and like like project heads too, it's not just people. Yeah. Um, so, you know, when, when you kind of, you know, when you look at it like that, it's like, oh, you know, it's... (laughs) That's that that's that's kind of unnerving, you know, to have people walk out in the middle of, you know, highly anticipated games. Um, but, you know, one thing that I'm kind of hoping is that when all these developers return, uh, eventually when everything kind of goes back to normal, that that crunch doesn't get implemented, you know, more. Um, yeah. 
because we last time we were talking about yeah you know we want a good game but not at the expense of it, of other people's health. So yeah, and like my and I, I've said this to a couple of people at this point. One of my coworkers asked me about this uh, delay today, and, and uh, I said that like for example, I, I have a pre order in at, at Best Buy. And I got the emails saying your release date's been changed and it's been shifted to de- uh, December thirty first yeah. this year. So, so it's been bumped all the way to the end of the year. Now, on the flip side, if everything goes back to normal by I don't know June, um, I wouldn't be surprised if we still get the game by September. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I think that. I, I would like to think that there's probably some Zoom calls going on right now between the executives at Naughty Dog uh, going, all right, well, now that we don't have anything better to do, let's try to figure out how to eliminate this crunch thing since that turned into such a nightmare for, for us. And uh, then when everything comes back, hopefully they'll have a better system in place. Very, very interesting. Never thought about it that way. Kind of, you know, finding something productive to do while everybody is almost forced to stay at home. Um, I mean, I'm sure a lot of those people are getting salaries, so they they might as well do something. Right, yeah. Um, So I I think the ultimate question is, um, you kind of answered it, but if if you were to take a guess, when do you think we'll get The Last of Us... uh, well, when we'll get when we will get a copy of the game in our hands. Um, if I'm if I'm overly optimistic, July. If I'm realistic, September. But you still believe that we're going to get it this year? I do. I, I I think it's far enough along, and I I don't think that they want to disappoint the fans that much to say, okay, guys, well, we're going to push it back till next year. And I know there were some some I saw some people comment online. And they were like, well, now they're just going to push it to the PS5. They're, they're just, it's just being pushed back because of circumstances. It's not a, I don't believe that it's some sort of uh, logistical money play where they're saying, well, we'll just push it back a little bit and it'll, it'll coincide. It's, no, they're not worried about that. They're, they're being mandated to stop working. <laughs> yeah, and especially the fact that this is something that's beyond their control, you know, they didn't ask yeah. for this, they don't want this, um, you know, they're regular people just like us, and you know, when the news, you know, says, you know, hey, everybody needs to stay home, you know, if you're not an essential worker, that goes for them too, so, um, yeah, I think I'm with you, uh, although I can't really put my, you know, finger on a, a particular month i also believe that we should get the last of us to this year um probably somewhere I'm, I'm gonna say late 2020 if i'm being honest uh probably somewhere around october september like you mentioned dan um but you know you also brought up a good point, you know, since that whole crunch thing came up, I think now would be a good time of, hey, guys, you know, if, if we can't really work on the game, how better can we run things so that, you know, people don't, you know, experience crunch? Yeah, um, and just to clarify, Naughty Dog's headquarters is in Santa Monica. So, yeah, they're they're affected just like everybody else out here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Again, you know, regular people like us, um, but, you know everybody's got to do what they got to do type of thing. Um, uh, did you have any further comments about the delay, Dan? No, I think that's, a, that's about it on this part. Okay. Um, moving on to uh, kind of a, a, a part two is um, I don't remember if this was before that uh, delayed announcement or after that delayed announcement. I, I believe it was afterwards. It was afterwards. Okay, so I think it was maybe a way of Naughty Dog kind of throwing you know a bone to to their to their fans and their followers. Um, we actually got a few pictures. Um, that now the thing the, now the thing is is this is this page run by by them because it's not a verified page. It's not, but I mean those pictures. Uh, looked pretty accurate, so I'm I'm trying to figure out who would get access to those. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe it's a, maybe he's an influencer and they feed him photos. Anyway, yeah, I can do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, did, did did you have those uh, do you have those photos uh in front of you? 
Yeah, I can burn through them. There's a there's about ten. So I'll, oop, so I'll give a brief brief description, and then we can talk about them. Yes. So the first one you've got looks to be uh, Dina and Ellie, and they're laying down together, and it's it looks like a pretty sweet moment where Ellie is looking in Dina's eyes. You imagine that this is probably <clears throat> this is probably the scene that uh, is being billed as the sexual content. Um, yeah. The next one, <laughs> the next one is Ellie and Tom, an aged Tommy, sitting next to each other. Having some sort of conversation. Um, Can't really gauge too much emotion from that scene. Uh, The next one, uh, your favorite, is Joel strumming away on his guitar. Also (laughs) looking just a a little bit older at this point. Uh, Possible that that one's just that that one's a flashback since he doesn't look quite as old as he does in some of the other pictures. Yeah. Uh, The next one, you got Ellie there riding her horse through a forest. Uh, then you've got Ellie staring at I uh, I don't know his name, but the uh, Asian gentleman that he that she speaks to in the opening scene that we saw in the original uh, teaser video. Yeah, it refers to quote unquote the your old man. Yes. Yeah. I don't recall his character name though. I don't either, unfortunately. Um, and then you've got the horizon pick. She's on the horse, looking out over the mountains as the sun comes over the top. Yeah. Uh, then she uh, rolls up on what looks like a, a fortress or a city, and it says trespassers killed on sight on the wall. Uh, then she's on the floor on the other side of a gate from what looks to be a bunch of clickers. And then the photos that kind of drive this home is a considerably more aged-looking Joel uh, looking very sadly at uh, Ellie, who has tears in her eyes. Um, and it's sort of... At sun, as the sun is going down. Um, that, and to, to clarify, this this page is called The Last of Us Game. Uh, so if you guys want to check that the pictures out yourself, it's their uh, post from, uh, I don't know, what is that, <laughs> April 2nd? <laughs> I actually thought about this, and then when I think I sent the photos over to you and you pretty much made the same comment... I think that the last photo and the second to last photo you referred to and said those photos look like they're the last two minutes of the first game. The, um, the I swear scene. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, care to comment or, you know, was, was there a particular what? photo that stood out to you or that you want to make a comment on? Well, so the, the the comment that I actually made uh, about those specific photos, I said it's uh, that in my opinion, it's one of two things, and one steers into the speculation uh, reg- surrounding Joel's liveability, and so um, the the first concept was that this could either be the moment in which. Ellie either reveals or learns that Joel lied to her at the end of the first game. Yeah. Uh, or this could be the scene where we find out that, per the speculation, Joel's been dead all along and Ellie is coming to terms with the fact that he has been a figment of her imagination up to this moment. Yeah. The funny thing is I remember at first when the idea came up that Joel might be dead, I... I, I was very much in denial about it. I was like, no, they better not. They better not do such a thing. Um, and to an extent, I still hope that Joel is real in the second game and not just Ellie's imagination. Um, yeah. But I think I slowly have come to accept that, you know what, if he has passed since the first game, I think I can wrap my brain around that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's something you don't necessarily want. But if it if it can if it uh, lends itself to uh, a, a, an equivalently uh, emotional story to the first one, yeah. Then if it works, it works. Right. Um, and uh, you mentioned it. You know, the one photo that really stood out to me was Joel. Uh, is he he's playing a guitar? Or is he playing a banjo? It's a, it's a guitar. It's a guitar. Um, you know, that kind of took me back to how... Um, God, I'm, I'm trying to think. Uh, d- did he mention anything about teaching her how to play the guitar? 
Uh, there's definitely dialogue during one section of the game where uh, he talks about his singing or talks about his his playing of the guitar, and then he says, I'll teach you someday. Yeah. Okay. And I think it's as they're rolling up to the university, if I remember correctly. Okay, yeah. Um, so... So, yeah, there, there's, there's an insinuation that at some point down the road, he'll... Uh, he'll at, at, he, he may sing the, his song to her, but also teach her to play guitar. Hopefully also teach her how to swim while he's at it. Here's hoping. <laughs> um, you're, ni- you're 19 years old, Elliot. It's t- too damn late. <laughs> um, but in all seriousness, yeah, I, I think that's the photo that really stood out to me because... Um, yeah, you know. On a, on, a, on a quick side note, how yeah. cool of a moment would it be if there's a cut scene where you see you see a, a flat body of water and Ellie just comes head first out of the water because <laughs> she's stalking somebody because she knows how to swim now. That would be so cool. It'd be such a nice visual. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent idea. Um, Naughty Dog, if you're listening. I think that in those seven or eight photos or whatever it was, um, that's the one photo that just stood out to me because in all the teasers and all the in all the gameplay that we've seen, we have seen dominantly, you know, Ellie, we've seen Dina, um, we've seen Tommy, but we really haven't seen Joel. Yeah, nothing um, of substance anyway. Yeah. Um, we we really we really would only get breadcrumbs when it came to Joel, um, so seeing that photo kind of did something to me where I was like I don't know you know are they trying to insinuate that you know he's gonna be a, a a very essential part of the game is he just gonna be a figment of Ellie's imagination is he gonna be in the background is he gonna be you know in the foreground where's where's he gonna be in this whole thing. Or is he going to be a select start? <laughs> Excellent plug. Uh, make sure to catch the playlist that has all our episodes there, uh, starting off with the WWE 2K series, and then, of course, of trans- transitioning into The Last of Us um, <laughs> with more games to come sometime. Um, but I mean... Okay, no. Hopefully at some point with some video even. Video, playthroughs, it'll be fun. You know, I was thinking, we gotta do a uh, first Last of Us playthrough and kind of give our commentary and just, you know, yeah, just just have a playthrough. Uh, which, right now at this point in time, that's a bit difficult to do. But once again, when everything kind of goes back to normal, I think that's very doable. Um, I agree. <laughs> That photo stuck out to me, and um, yeah, I don't know. I, we're we're getting a, a bit more information as we go along, but they're they're doing such a good job of concealing what there still is to discover in this game. Yeah, they're they're, they're giving you just enough enough morsels to to keep you hungry. Yeah, um, which. It kind of becomes a domino effect because they'll release a photo and then people will download the photo and magnify it and inspect it and you know will and then they'll and then they'll delay the game for twelve months. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, again, do you have any additional comments about those photos, or may, did maybe something else stick out to you? Uh, no, not especially. I, I, I really like that. They're all really pretty photos. So yes. if you're, if you are listening, go, go check the photos out because it, I read the delay message then I saw those pictures and it, it was bittersweet because I got even more excited for the game after seeing those, <laughs> but, uh, go check out those photos because the lighting is pristine. Um, if the if the overarching game looks like these pictures, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be beautiful. I wanna almost assume that uh, photo mode will will also make a return, because um, there are just some moments when you're playing the game and if you can pan the camera and just catch a very good view, like and just take a photo, um, like that's some really good wallpaper photo, you know. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't use my Twitter all that much, but I've been bumping, when I was doing my playthrough, I was bumping photos that I was taking out to that. Yeah. It, it's fun. It's fun to play with. Yeah, I think you also sent me two photos, if I'm not mistaken. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, I mean, as for right now, that's really the only quote-unquote updates that we have since the last time that we did an episode um, the, the announcement of the delay, um, and also those photos that, you know, uh, were put on Instagram, but, um, Dan, any parting thoughts, uh, before we wrap up? Uh, no, uh, that about does it for me, uh, catch The Last of Us Part 2 whenever, uh, with a, uh, current rating, uh, eight, probably at M, it's probably gonna be M. Most likely, <laughs> most likely. Well, guys, there you go. Uh, we just, uh, you know, talked about the, the delay um, that Naughty Dog announced. We talked about the photos that were put up. Um, that's pretty much all we have right now. Um, the second, when another news or story uh, emerges, we will be sure to cover it. But until next time, everybody uh, stay home, stay safe, and always remember and never forget, save your progress. And don't turn off the system. We'll catch you guys all next time.